Dear Henry, I hope this letter finds you well. How strange it is to think that you've been gone nearly a year. Life here is normal. I see the same people every day. Things are going well at the Sheriff's Office. Sheriff Mitchell's decades as Sheriff of Sidestep Valley have made their mark, but he's still our feisty Sheriff and is clearly not going to accept old age without a fight. We miss you and have to work extra hard now that you're not here. Due to your absence and the Sheriff's age, it's harder to chase down ne'er do wells, but we're managing. Sidestep Valley is still a law abiding town. How I do miss you, Henry. Things just aren't the same here without you. Though I'm glad that you're taking care of your mother. I hope she's doing well. I myself am doing quite well. Well, except for the fact that I had a strange dream. Do you remember Casey Pullman from school? The reason I mention him is that I had a dream about him last night. He made me feel bad about myself all through my childhood. He was better than me at sports, in the classroom, and in other arenas. I guess I've never really gotten over the bitterness I had for Casey back then. I do hope that him appearing in my dreams won't be a common occurrence. I don't think I'd like to see him again. Well, Henry, I find that time slips by, so I must draw this letter to a close. Please pass along my greetings to your mother, and to Piggy too, of course. Sincerely, your friend, Jesse. What's that piece of paper, Sheriff? Oh, this, this here is an application. For what? Well, it's for a deputy, you know, a replacement for Henry. You're just gonna hire someone right off the street? No, not exactly. You know that McClintock gang that's been riding around on the outskirts of town? Well, the one that I was gonna send you and Henry after right before Henry left? Yeah, I've been itching to catch that gang. Well, Why? Well, I still intend on sending you, at least to go out and do some spying and see if we can figure out where they live. But I haven't quite done that yet, because I wasn't comfortable sending you by yourself. So I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. I don't know that I'd follow you, Sheriff. Well, the way I have it figured is whoever responds to this here ad, if they're promising and hardworking and, of course, trustworthy, well, then I plan on sending them with you to see if you can snag these guys turn out to be good, well, we find ourselves a high-quality deputy. If not, well, you won't get yourselves in trouble now, will you, Jesse? Guess not. I still don't see why you and I just don't go out together. <laughs> what? At least sidestep defenseless? No, Jesse, one of the two of us need to stay here, to be honest with you. Well, I just don't have the energy for that kind of thing anymore. And it'll be good to have another hand around here. Uh, but don't worry. I'll make sure that they're high quality. In fact, this application you know, is looking pretty promising. Can I look at it? No, actually, I have another job for you. Speaking of helping out an old man, I was wondering if you could do the afternoon rounds today. I, I, I would do it myself, but I got this fellow coming in for the interview, and it should be around three. Sure thanks, Sheriff. Besides, filling out the report afterwards would give me an excuse to stop off at Kent's for a drink. Thank you, Jesse. I owe you one. Nah, just make sure this fellow's as good as Henry. <laughs> Jesse, I wouldn't have it any other way. See you, sir. Evening, Jesse. Howdy, Ken. Just finishing up your rounds? Yep. How was it? You know, nothing to report. I guess no news is good news. What will you be having? 
Uh, I think I'll just have my usual. Okay, one, two percent milk coming right up. Thank you. Nothing to report. <gasps> Shazam! Howdy, stranger. Hold me out. I feel like celebrating. Mm -hmm. I make it a low fat mocha. Howdy there, stranger. Didn't see you. I said hi. Yeah, that, that's, that's all right. Well, hi. Well, hi. <coughs> nice place you got here. Yeah, it's great. Nice town in general. Yeah. I mean, no, no, definitely not. Uh, there's plenty of nicer towns far, far away from here, actually. <clears> oh? <throat> well? Say, do I know you from somewhere? Uh, no, I don't think so. We've never met. And we haven't gone to school or anything like that. That's it. School. I gotta go. Here's your milk, Jesse. That's it. Jesse, come back from Miss Fitzgerald's class. Casey Pullman, how's yeah. it going? Uh, you know, not too good. I really got to get back going. I'm kind of tired. Hey, thanks for the milk candles. Delicious. Hey, Jesse, I got something to tell you. Go ahead, Jesse, you can't go. I got to tell you something. I got to go. Sheriff, there's an arrest you need to make. Uh, Jesse, I'm glad you're back. Sheriff, you'll never guess who I ran into. Oh, no, wait, wait, my news first. News? What news? Well, well you know that. I had that interview this afternoon. I gotta tell you, it went quite well. In fact, I was kind of hoping he'd be here by now. Who? What? Your new partner. Uh, I've... Oh. Yo, it's him. Who? What's this all about? Well, Jesse, may I present to you person who you're going to be going on the next mission with, and hopefully, if all goes well, my new deputy and your new partner. Come on in, Casey. What did you say? Surprise! Surprise!